Hi, I'm Robert Hall with American Powertrain. I want to tell you about a really cool thing that's now available for muscle cars such as the C2 Corvette and the Mustang. More models to come soon, but it's an electric power steering system. Fits completely up under the dash and it's even speed sensitive so you don't have that light floaty feeling that you used to have with the factory systems. Totally self-contained, comes with everything you need. You don't modify the car and when you come over, look at the inside of the car, looks completely stock. Original steering wheel, original turn signal mechanism, whole nine yards, bone stock under the hood, bone stock appearance, it's all under the dash. And how it works is you're replacing the top section of the steering column with the new system. And it has a worm gear on the column, a little electric motor that comes into the side, and that electric motor actually helps you turn the column from the top as opposed to a hydraulic pump moving the steering linkage down at the bottom. So you have an electric motor that helps you turn the steering column, but the brain's electric computer box, that's where the magic is. It has a set of programs in there that with the sensors built into the column, it can tell how hard you're cranking on the wheel, and it does that instantaneously, thousands of a second. And then it assists based on what you have going on. So if you're driving in a parking lot, it knows, hey, we're at a low speed, a lot of heavy load, it gives you the maximum assist. As your speed picks up, the amount of effort to turn the column lightens and the, and the assist drops off. So when you're driving along the road 70 miles an hour, the power steering's not doing anything. You don't need it to, so you have a good, solid, direct feel. You don't have the old, typical 1960s, 70s floaty power steering. Now there's two different ways that this is done. This column has a, has a torque arm, actually has a little torque arm inside of there so it knows how much torque is being put on it. And you also have a separate setting where you can control how much assist you get, like a volume knob on a radio. So when you get the system in the car, set it up, sit there in the parking lot, turn the steering, and if, uh, if it feels a little light, you don't like it uh, to be that light, you just turn the volume down, turn the assist down, and then it uses that as your setting. So let's say that um, the knob is 1 to 10. If you like a number 7, when you're in a parking lot, it says give the guy 100% of number 7. And then as you drive down the road, it, the assist backs off until you're down to zero assist at, at road speed. Now electric power steering is something really new in the muscle cars, but a lot of your modern cars are using electric power steering now. It doesn't take the power away from the engine, it's cleaner, there's less components to have to worry about, it can't leak, you can't outrun it, uh, it can't cavitate. Everything in there is all the processes, all the decisions are made at the speed of a computer. So it's really state of the art, really cool, but something that makes our system better than most of what you're going to find out there in the aftermarket is it's OE. All of our motors and all of the computer programs are ones that were developed for major automobile manufacturers. So they are built for something that is going to be on the road every day, day in, day out, tens of thousands of miles a year. It's, um, it's, it's the top notch stuff. Here's a little demonstration. No power steering. And this is very common in a mid-year car that has wider tires. And we're all putting wider tires on here. You're not going to drive a VET with 185s on it. Turn the switch. Modern steering, flick of a switch.